Uh, Wendy Williams, she has been officially canceled. Um, they will not tell the story of what's going on with her, but um, they say that, you know, basically Sherry Shepard is going to be getting her own show. Now, you know, it's, you know, she's taking over Wendy's spot. You know, she's going to be in the same time slot. Now, is that the same lady that got sued by Cardi B? I don't think so. Okay. I'm um, I just... I was just thinking, but go ahead. Yeah, she used to be on The View um, at one time. Oh, to... okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's not the same lady, yeah. man. I'm uh, thinking of somebody else. It was a, another personality. that yeah. She was kind of like a Wendy William type, but not really. Oh, okay, okay. And then I think Cardi made her, made her pay like a yeah. character defamation or something oh, like that. Oh, okay, okay. But anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, no, I was just saying that, you know, <laughs> Wendy was officially canceled and, um, you know, they... I don't know, man. I mean, Sherry Shepard is saying basically that she's not taking over Wendy Williams' show, but to me, she kind of is. I still feel like she kind of is because she's taking the whole staff. The people who run the show came to the staff and said, okay, no more Wendy Williams, now Sherry Shepard. Y'all can go to her show. I mean, so I'm sure they're going to call it Sherry Shepard show, but it's like if you're taking a staff, you're taking a time slot, you know what I mean? You're going to yeah. probably do the same type of stuff she do, just gossip about other celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. It's know, the same show. Same show. Different. So, name. you know, I mean, I, so, you know, she tried to make it a point to say, oh, I'm not taking Wendy's show. I don't know, but that's up for debate. You know, that's up for your personal opinion. What do you think? I know you probably don't watch it really. Not really. But, you know, I just um, um, think it was funny. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I do hope that, you know, her health, because I know she had, you know, some health issues. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that her health will be and she get back to health. Yeah. That being said, I oh, I hate to say this. And I hate to say this. I kinda feel like I know where you're going because I was gonna ask a question. Um, uh, whether y'all thought it was karma that she's getting, you know, oh, all yes. sick and losing her show, you know. Well that and the, I'm I'm thinking about um I think my girl Tabitha Brown. Yeah. Yeah. She should have her own show. She's really good. That girl, I mean, whether you agree with her religious stuff or not, but that that lady is a sweet lady. Genuine. Very and genuine. For her to attack her like she does don't bother nobody. Yeah. In her lane, you know, she up there, you know, she's like, Yeah, you know, she actually retired her husband from her right, I remember. from a job. And yeah. she was like Oh, don't clap for her. She just this, and you yeah. know you up there. I'm like, well, damn, no wonder you. Ain't. But yeah, you but ain't got no damn body. That's the kind of shit she's done over the years, all, all, all through her career. And you know, she did it. There was a lady who died in like a, a airplane crash, and I remember Wendy was talking about it, and then she made a joke about the plane going down. And it was just like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, you know, she don't be thinking about stuff like that, so. She's made a lot of, you know, ill comments over the years that I think have kind of got her in trouble. So that's why I was like, I wonder if this is yep. karma, you know what I mean, coming back to bite her. You yeah. Know? I mean, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't wish nothing bad on her. I mean, she, you know. Yeah. I mean, even even if she did say something bad about me at this point, like, you know what I'm saying? You're right. Like, I'm a, I don't wish nothing bad on her. Right. You know, she got to, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, health and all this other stuff and everything that's going on. I mean, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's real out here right now, you know. Yeah. We want to we'll make sure everybody doing their best. Is that um is that Jackson over there? He was supposed to be in Cam's room. She said she was going to keep him in there. He must have. I don't know if he slipped out and she done fell asleep or what. But anyway. Um, oh, okay. But um, but anyway, I didn't mean to cut you off. My bad. Oh no, you good, you good. But yeah, so dog you know. business. Dogs. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so Wendy Williams, you know, uh, Wendy Williams, you know, that's it's, that's really sad. But I'm gonna give you my best advice. This is what I think she should do. I think she should do a podcast this time and go back to doing her thing. If she really wants to be successful, that way she can be more in charge of how things go. She ain't got to worry about nobody saying. Oh, you, you you know, you're not doing a show the way we like. You know, when you do a podcast, you kind of dictate everything. And she already knows how to run a show. She knows how to work a camera and all that. So if you really want to get back out there, to me, that would be the best way to go. Because now the podcast is the thing to do. Well, I mean, a lot of people, you know, 
Really, that's what they should do. I mean, that's one thing that uh, you know, Kwame Brown was talking about with even with Stephen A. Smith. Right. Um, you know, so not necessarily him doing a podcast, but he definitely should have his own little thing. And he could make more money instead of him trying to or at least be to the point where he'd be independent. Right. And have his own thing. But nah, he wanna be under under uh he want to be on the ESPN. They, 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 right, too right, much. exactly. Yeah, you know, they talking about some. There's two things I think about: how how we want to make them more money, and what how can I get some of it? I'm like, motherfucker, right. I, I work a job too. The the first thing I don't I don't think about that shit. Right. I don't think I I mean I think about making money for me. Yeah, but I don't think about oh well, this is gonna. Be, I mean now don't don't get me wrong. The stuff that I do eventually makes the boss money. I mean, that's, that's it, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. But I, that's not the first thing I think about when right. I wake up. It's right. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to get my old boss man some more money if I get all these truck loaded. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here, man. Right. Come on, man. Yeah. That, so that. coon ass, stinking <clears throat> ass. <laughs> Shit, man. But yeah, that's, that's, you know, I agree with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you got to go to work to pay your bills. But yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna that's... Be, I'm not going to be sitting there thinking about what can I do to make the boss money. Today. Yeah, make the more boss boss money. Yeah, nah, I'm good. And this will open up opportunity. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, man. But um, but yeah, that's interesting, man. Um, let's let's you know talk a little bit about this whole Russia situation. Yeah. Um, you know, should we be interfering with that Ukraine helping them, or should we just kind of step back and say, okay, hey, let me let me, see, out there. let me say it like this: Black people, let them white people fight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let them fight. But I, and, uh, I feel like we're going to interfere anyway. Now, know? I will say, I will say this. It is something, it's something that we should all pay attention to. Yeah. Because it's going to set a precedent for a lot of stuff. It's going to be, a, with this going on, and the way it's going to roll, it's going to be eventually the fall of some systems. Yeah. This is, this is what this could potentially <laughs> lead to so i think that's something that we need to watch but as far as like i think now as far as like the i don't want to be like oh you know it's just white on white fight now nah, you know i can't say it like that because i mean wars you know what i'm saying i don't want anybody to die or anything right, like that right. or you know their families you know innocent civilians and stuff but at the same time it's like you know, we get gunned down the streets, we get killed, we get bothered. Like, if yeah. us as citizens here, if one thing is wrong with us, we get dragged for it. But then now, you know, with this going on, yeah, eventually they, you know, just like they was, I think, online, you know. And again, I'm not, I'm not knocking people, praying for these people. I'm not knocking that. But it's just like... When it comes for they causes, oh, pray for these people, da da da. But then we say, yo, you know, black people getting, you know, getting fucked up. And just, oh, no, nah, y'all just need to walk that shit off. Y'all just need to get over it. Oh, slavery, get over it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's like, come on, it's man. Crazy, man. But then it's like, y'all say that shit, but then y'all want us to be involved with these fucking causes and shit. Yeah. That's why I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, again, like I said, it's something we need to pay attention to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, my, you know, the people that's out there, you know, I will say, you know, my heart's out to them and things like that. Like the innocent people who don't, you know, give a rip about none of that. But, right. But as a whole, I don't, I don't think we need to be in it. I think we need to watch, but I don't think we need to be in it. And I mean, I agree with that. I mean, I don't think we should be in it, but I feel like we're going to get in it because these countries like the United States, they make these agreements with all the other countries saying, you know, if you go to war, we got your back. You know, as long as you do this for us, we'll do that for you. Well, that's the NATO. You know I mean, the NATO. Yeah. yeah. So stuff like that, you know, makes them feel like see, okay, we got to do it. You know, and that's I mean? why Russia is at the, the Ukraine because the Ukraine ain't in it. I think they left NATO. 
Okay. I I think so. What they were trying to do is put that because see, Ukraine was a part of the, the form. They trying to bring it back. They trying yeah. to bring. They trying to bring. Ru- he trying to bring Russia back to the the glory of that, which is crazy. I mean, you know, I mean, but that's how it is. I mean, you know, they the way they see it. Um, Professor Black Truth made a good point. Okay. He said that uh, really, like, these societies, Western societies, they thrive on war. They feel that you're about something if you do, if you go to war and conquer something or survive something. They, they, that war marks them, makes, you know what I'm saying? Because they're war like people. Black people, not, I mean, we fight amongst each other and stuff. We do, all, but like, realistically, we're not like we're not a war like people. We're more into right. arts and music and stuff. That's why we big like the artists and, and th- like, like what we do now. Like you know what I'm saying? We we have a uh, you know dedication and devotion to hip hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's us. We're not we're not like oh yeah we should go out here you know blah 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 kill everybody like no no we're not we're not like we're not that type of people too much. I mean, even even some of the, you know, like, you know, what you would consider the thuggish ruggers, they ain't really like that until right, they really right. kind of have to be. Yeah. For the mo- now, you do got some, look, you got some niggas that's crazy. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But for the most, by the whole, like, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But anyway, go ahead. I'm, no, that was pretty I'm much it as far to... as the Russia thing. I just wanted some opinion on that because, um, you know, I think uh, it is something that, in my opinion, just let it go. Yeah. I you mean, know. like I said, I'm I'm not, again, like I said, I think we do need to watch, especially, and really the most, the most important thing to do is not what Russia's doing, right. what China's going to do. Yeah. If China take Taiwan, Oh man, I'm telling you, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah, that that's true. And if China ever shout out to uh, my man Pharaoh said that he said China ever link up with them Africans and they start war, oh, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Cause that's two billion people. That's two billion troops. Right. Yeah, you, we can't fuck with that. We only got what three hundred fifty million. Right. And not all of us are troops. Yep. So yeah, that'd be it. But that's where we are these days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we can go ahead and move on. You know, we got to talk about the the Kanye West documentary, Genius. Um, you know, I think it's a good documentary. And, you know, we talked about it a little bit before, but just want to bring it back up because now that Howie's had a chance to look at it, you know, it's uh, we can talk a little bit more about it. But yeah, you can see the relationship with him and his mom. Yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed that, man. I Man, I was just... Yeah, I see why he was so distraught after mm-hmm. she, passed. When she passed. Yeah, and it just and why it, he's calling two albums after her. You know, what yeah, I mean? and it kind of like um, to me heightened his. And I'm just saying this for you know right now, I'm not labeling him mentally ill, but you know, what I'm saying they were saying like his mental illness. Yeah, but yeah. you know, what I'm saying I because I, you know. It was like they were just best friends, and you know, and he was just, yeah, you know, and, and the advice that she gave, like, yeah, if you were saying like this, you know, you'd be able to. But he, and the thing of it is, he was like, oh, mom, this ain't nothing, you know, I don't want to hear that shit. Right. But it was like he listened, and then he kind of found his own way of doing and expressing right. Right. what she wanted him to say. I thought yeah, that was really man. cool. And I mean, you know, just to be able to see, there was a lot of early footage that I didn't know about, you know. What yeah. I mean? So it was it was good for me to see his real early early upbringing in, in in Chicago and all of that, and seeing how things were going with uh, him in the early music days, but even before, like, um, you know, his first album and all that good stuff. So I thought that was interesting, and a lot of people in Shot Town was just like, "Wow, this dude is dope," you know. But they just didn't think he would want to rap, you know. What I mean, it was all about. If you want to beat, this is the dude to go to. Rapping, I don't know nothing about that, but beat wise, that's the guy you need to get your beats from. Because it was like you could see people always asking him for beats in the documentary. When you want to get that beat, you know, when you want to get the. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, think this was before the internet buzz. 
I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? So I think eventually with the not the cut job, I think eventually yeah, if he I think eventually he if he didn't get the shine in Rockefeller as far as to be in the rap, I think eventually he would with the I know that sounds like a cat, but it's not. Yeah, I was like, that's, what that's, the that's the young dog. I told you, man, when he can't when he can't get the attention he wants, he starts to howling and acting up like that. Huh? No, I'm good. Not you. Oh. Nah, I can't nah, I can't keep no dog. <laughs> can't, I can't keep no dog. I mean, I know I can't keep no dog. But uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like um anyway. <laughs> Sorry, right, we was nah, nah, we was kind of distracted. Yeah, but going back, we don't have to call this the dog episode. Yeah, <laughs> but um, but, but yeah, back to the documentary. Go ahead. Yeah, going back, like he would, um, I like like we said earlier. I like the fact that he was trying to bridge the gap. Um, and going back to what I was saying, I think eventually, and just stress with the, you know, the technology and you know the Instagrams and all that stuff. I think yeah. eventually he would have been able to shine through. Like, yeah, I rap too. You know. I think yeah. eventually, I yeah. mean, he might have yeah. got burned out, but I think eventually he'd have got through with that. Yeah, and I think he just has a real love for, for rapping, and maybe even more so than making beats. I think beats just may come natural to him, but I think he really felt like if they could just hear me rap, they would really see the real talent. And when everybody else is just like, nah, the beats is your real talent. Which he's good at both, you know. What I mean, he's a yeah. genius at both. I mean, I mean, some of his bars, I'm like, wow, you know. I see why Hov did the um, Watch the Throne album because Jay Z ain't gonna do an album with just anybody, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Anybody on Rockefeller, you know, any of them could have asked him to do a, a collab album. Even Beanie Siegel, he probably wouldn't have done it. But once he really started realizing how dope Kanye was and the, the mind, the mentality. I think that's what made him say, okay, yeah, this could work. Yeah, I think Kanye West, like I said, I think he's I think he's gonna be the prince of this generation. Yeah. I mean, as far as like what he did, I mean, cause I mean him having the production hat and also him having the you know, the the MCing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's just I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't as far as I think he's probably the best producer Slash rapper that's been out. I do. I think he's the best rapper or best producer. I can't give that to him, but he's definitely in the conversation. Oh yeah, oh he's yeah, definitely in the conversation. Yeah, I mean, um, he wouldn't be my top five in producing, but I probably would have him at, at somewhere in my top ten. Oh, definitely. You know what I mean? So yeah, because uh, it's it's he he made some incredible beats. So uh, somewhere in top ten or fifteen, I would say. But yeah, um, but yeah, it's it's a great documentary. It's, like you said, it's called Genius, and it's spelled J E E N hyphen uh, Y U S. I think it was. Yeah, something yeah. like that. So um, definitely go check it out, man. It's it's uh it's on net. Was it? Net- yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Or dot org. I got so many of them apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Just... If you go org, if you can't, you right. know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Netflix got to go up on that. Ass. Yeah, Netflix talking about raising their prices. It's crazy, man. Everybody Ooh. just. Yeah. The economy is the inflation, man. It's just getting yeah, it's gas. crazy, man. Gas is a thousand dollars a gallon. Yeah, I'm telling you, know, you man. it's about to go up even more. Like I gotta tell you, man. Like my man, they with the like this dude I follow on Instagram. He was up there making fun of the homeless and stuff. I think I told you about this talking about like the you know the homeless on Skid Row talking about like. Oh, you know, they get six hundred a week. Okay. I, like, I mean, was it six hundred or was it six hundred a month? Either way, six hundred a week, six hundred a month, that ain't shit in right, LA. Right. And uh so man, y'all just out there, y'all get this free money. I said, let me tell you something, man. The way shit is right now, we f- gonna fuck around, we all gonna be outside. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy, man. I mean, it's it's getting to that point, man. So I can't even call it no more, man. I, I mean, and then the way people, um, the mentality of people is, is going down in the toilet. The economy is going down in the toilet, yeah, man. man. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's like, it, it, it's almost like everybody just kind of gave up on this country. Right. 
It's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a wrench in it. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, this would have been like, you know what I'm saying? Even though we in a low point, you have some people that spirited like, oh, you got to do this. We got to fight. We, we've we been through this before. Everybody like, nah, nigga, just, nah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, man, so I definitely would encourage everybody to check that out. You know what I mean? Um, it's a lot of good footage on there. And, you know, I yeah. think, uh, it really gets, you know, you know, you really get to understand why Kanye is. What, who he is and where he is in life, and um, you know, even even somebody like a, a, a Drake, you know, what I mean, if they did a versus, I mean, it's 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 Kanye, it's the Victor. But well, the thing of it is, if it what really for what looking at the documentary, if it wasn't for Kanye, it would be no Drake, right? Real, very true. Realistically, because really, most most of your rappers, that's what he was saying, um, like Kanye. Con- like I look at Kanye and Eminem really different in the MCN field because like these guys they weren't like your thugs or anything like that. They yeah. weren't you know, I took a I did a jail sentence and I'm out right. here, you know, did you know, I'm up here stab, stabbing niggas, knifing niggas in the yeah. yard. And, you know, they <laughs> they didn't say nothing like that. They just kinda talked from a place which that's what hip hop is, talk from a place where they were from. And brought it to us. So, I appreciate the Eminem's and the, you know, I appreciate the Eminem's and the, and the Kanye's because that, you know, people like me who ain't, I mean, I'm not, you know, a thief or anything. And I'm not, I'm not knocking those who are who did jail sentences and things like that. They want to rap and try to explain their experiences. Nah, that's cool. You know, do that. But it's just that, you know, people, they're, you know, people like me and Curtis, you know, they haven't really done, done things like that, but we're part, you know, we like the art form. Right. Yeah. Right. Kanye, Kanye and Eminem kind of opened up the door for that. I have to give Absolutely. them, I have to give that to them. Yeah, You man. know what I'm saying? So like with that, you know, Drake, you know, Drake wasn't going to be like, yeah, I'm over here, you know, I got the clap on the joints and stabbing up niggas, you know, go, go. <laughs> yeah, Drake wouldn't been able to do that. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like we... You know what I'm saying? We'd be like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you yoke up niggas. Right. Yeah, like, nah, man, you ain't, you know. But, you know, now, you know, at the same time, I think Kanye really opened that lane up for Drake. Well, Drake up there watching that documentary and crying and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, man, get out your feelings for two yeah, seconds, man. Yeah, Drake probably watching the documentary and drinking and shit like that. Right. Yeah, you know, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, a few years back when Kendrick Lamar was on the um, BET Cipher, and he everybody was saying he threw shots at Drake because he um, he was rapping. And he said something about um, a rapper being too sensitive. So he said, "I'm gonna tell a sensitive rapper to put his pajamas back on or some shit like that." Yeah, and everybody just knew it was like, "Yeah, he talking about Drake." It's like everybody just know you just always every, everything is about emotional feelings for him. Yeah. I, I mean, I appreciate Drake though. I mean, I, it took me a while. I have to give, I have to say that it took me a while because you know I'm hip hop here, boom bap, this that and the third. But I, but now you know, what I'm saying even with like Kanye and stuff, like it, the, you know, this is a different type. I can enjoy this rap and still be listening to the hardcore stuff. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Or I guess you know, what I'm saying it's it's their interpretation. I respect it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yep. Yeah, every now and then Drake will put something out there. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway, um, that bell means it's time to go on to the next topic. Oh, yeah, facts, <laughs> facts, 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 facts. So we're going to close out the show. We have been talking about our top 10 favorite groups of all time. Like, who, who we think is the best of the best. We got you know I mean? everything consummated except the top 10. We got nine groups. I'm going to read all of them to y'all. And those of y'all who are a little older who may, you know, respect old school hip hop and know about things from the beginning, you may be able to appreciate this a little bit more. So, uh, no particular order, but uh, Run DMC. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you, you can't really, uh, can't deny what they brought to hip hop. No. Uh, Public Enemy. Definitely cannot deny what they brought to hip hop. 
uh, EPMD, my God, <laughs> my God, um, undeniable contributions to hip hop, uh, Outcast, yes sir, and um, undeniable contributions. I mean, I think it's sad that some of the younger uh, folks, you know, some younger rappers out of the ATL don't really you know, know them like that because they don't really make music like that anymore. But y'all need to go back and do your history. Trust me on that. Thanks, thanks. Um, so next is Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang Clan. I mean, they basically exploded into hip-hop. Uh, undeniable. Uh, next is Tribe Called Quest. You know what I mean? Come on now. We can't deny them. Oh shit! Oh, shut the hell up! <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Sorry about that. I ain't paid for the app yet. So right. You know what I'm saying? You got all these advertisements. All right. Yeah, now. All right. So, but yeah, Tribe is undeniable. I mean, they brought so much to the table, and I mean, even years after like Five Dog has been gone, we're still waiting on a final album from him. So you can tell what they've done for hip hop. All right. Next would be Brand Nubian. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on now. Don't support the kid, Yeah, man. man. Get out. Uh, Grand Poobah, Lord Jamal, uh, Derek X, now known as Sadat X. X. You know what I mean? We had uh, DJ Alamo, Sincere, you know, all of them. You know what I mean? Stud Dougie, all of the crew. Um, you know, they brought a lot to hip-hop. They really helped to spread a lot of conscious hip-hop in the early days. Uh, you know, but they still, you know, let you know we can do that hardcore, you know, punks jump up to get beat down, you know what I mean? So I love that about them. All right, next would be De La Soul. Man, um, they are undeniable in hip hop. I mean, I love the fact that they brought something new to the table. They didn't come in just trying to be like nobody else. They had their own specific sound and style. So, yeah, we got to definitely give it up for them. And then our, our number nine pick was NWA. Yes, sir. So, once again, once again, undeniable, you know, what they brought to the table, you know, and how many MCs got birthed out of that group, um, you know. So, you know, that's, so that's nine. Like I said, no particular order. That's just the order I happen to write them down in. So now we're trying to figure out who we want our number 10 top group in hip hop uh, of all time. Now, um, one of the rules that me and Howie came up with is that it doesn't count if you're, let's say, a group like an Eric B and Rakim, where you just had one rapper, you know, and the other part of the group was the DJ. DJ. You know, yeah, we don't we count that as a real group group. Even though they were a group, you know, it, it, it wasn't a group of rappers, you know, so stuff like that, we don't count. So, you know, you got to have at least like, what, two, three, four MCs, you know what I mean? So, um, but there's a lot of other groups out there. It's just hard to pick. You know, you got Bone Thugs and Harmony. Got to give them an honorable mention. You got Cypress Hill, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a lot going on, man. You know, you even got groups like D12, you know, they're pretty dope. But we got to really think, and when it comes to all greatest of all time, we want to make sure we fill that spot with somebody special. So y'all help us out in the comments. Leave us um, some comments who y'all think should fill that number 10 spot that, you know, was one of the greatest groups of all time. One thing I will say, um, out of the list for like number 10, actually, I think we might need to drop Run them C to number two. I know you had it in an order. No, nah, like I said, no, and no particular put, order. And put Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Well, yeah, as far remember, as like I, the message. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I brought them up, and uh, we, me and you had a conversation, and you were saying you didn't think they might be one, but but yeah, we can read well, we, we can that. Well, you know. Because they were one of the ones. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, they were kind of like, but as far as like, they kind of. Mm, that's hard. Yeah, Cause like they kind of laid down, they laid down the foundation, right, for like Run DMC to kind of do their thing. But like Run DMC, really, like if it went for Run, yeah, they, they definitely wouldn't be no NWA and right. all this other stuff. Yeah, it's just 
Ooh, yeah, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You know, they only um, did a handful of albums. They didn't really do as much, and they, yeah. they did lay the foundation. But it's hard to say. Say that they're being the top. You know, yeah. yeah, so we have so, to. Yeah, it's hard to pick. But um, that's that was one of the reasons we couldn't agree on them because um that. I mean, you got a lot of groups out there. You had the Treacherous Three with Kumo D. Yeah, you Digital, had, uh, Digital uh, Underground. Yeah, yeah. I put um, this thinking Digital Underground as far as like tenth spot. Only right. reason saw them on Drink Champs. Shout out, you know, like I, I think last week mm -hmm. they went on Drink Champs, and I actually want to try to check out that Twisted episode that just dropped. But um, basically, they were saying when they were doing all in the same game. Dre was looking at Shock G about like what he was doing. He was trying to get tips from Shock oh, G. Oh wow, that's yeah. What's up. Shock G was like, I didn't even know all that. He was like, he actually played the piano because yeah. he was in a jazz group. Okay, so he played piano. That's right, I heard he you know, he actually he had like all worked the boards, like yeah. the production, like that was that was all man Shock and like Shock like the Humpty Dance beat. That was in a lot of hip hop back in like oh, a yeah. lot. Of, oh yeah, they probably like up there with EPMD. Probably like right. one of the most heavily sampled out, like them, and I would probably say Audio Two. You know, as far as the yeah, I would Audio might too. give it to Audio Two because that whole that whole sampling it. Do, 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 yeah, they've been sampled a lot. Do, do, do. Yeah, well, Audio Two didn't have the longevity. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's true. one thing. But then you got groups like the Jungle Brothers. You yep. know, their honorable mention. Um, they had a little bit of longevity, um, but they, um, you know, they, they, I don't know if I would put them in the greatest of all time list. They just, you know, they're really memorable, but it's hard to really say for me to put them in that 10th spot. You know, you got groups like Nice and Smooth, you know what I mean? It's time to run slow. It's yeah. time to run quick. Do, do, do. You know, Onyx, you know what I mean? Yep. Um, so it's it's hard, man, to pick a final group for that. And, you know, I really want to make sure we pick that right one. So, again, y'all help us out. Yeah, help us out. Let us know who y'all think, because we really want to make sure we we pick the right one. And then we're gonna post that list and uh, start a discussion on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me. Uh, damn, I ain't got no. Well, why did it have to show? Yeah. I'll take a picture of the list. And yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Um, so yeah, y'all let us know. Um, again, this has been episode one ninety six. Uh, you know, we we just you know having fun, you know, having a conversation. Yep, yep. And uh, we appreciate all y'all checking us out. You know, don't forget, please hit those buttons, like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe like, like, share, share subscribe, like, share, subscribe, and pick up this puppy back here. Right. Me. You know, come get this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Mac, <laughs> he's another one, just undeniable, man, yeah. undeniable from day one. Oh, they—that's another thing too. The uh, on the Kanye joint, I didn't. But that—that that wasn't Bernie Mac. That was that did the voices. No. Maybe we do something for the kids. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but I thought that was somebody doing the impression because that was pretty oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye, yeah. what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Kanye, you a nigga. I don't right. mean that in a good way. I don't know who it was, but I think you're right. It was somebody doing an impression of him, but yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't real. But yeah, that, that was funny, man. I died laughing when I heard that. <laughs> But yeah, man, so, uh, you know, and there's, there's a lot of hip-hop groups out there that, you know, have done a lot for hip-hop, but we just got to make sure we get the right one. So y'all help us out with that, and we'll go from there. And yep, yep. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to drop before we end it off? Nah, that's it, man. Okay. Y'all be good out there, man. Y'all stay safe, man. Y'all, man, keep being good, man, like, as far as, like, I know shit's, you know, shit's down. I ain't trying to be on this... Uh, inspirational shit but with everything you know you know this week these past couple of events these events and stuff going on don't let that shit get you down man stay stay happy Just give you know what i'm saying give someone that sunshine that that brightness right you know what exactly. i'm saying give someone that positive uplift you know yeah because like right now we all you know we all need it right we now could all, we could all use it man yeah. you know so yeah man appreciate that good word from howie uh uh reverend Howard. No, I ain't no, I ain't. <laughs> then God said, I said, keep good in your life. Let me tell you something.
And I, yeah, I was born. <laughs> yeah, I was raised up. Well, actually, it's crazy because I was and like my when I came up, I was Pentecostal. Well, not Pentecostal. God no, not Pentecostal. Presbyterian. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? Okay. So yeah, when I came and then we went to like Baptist, you know. Yeah. And like the Lord said, uh, and you know what he yeah. said, uh, and he said it good. Uh, uh, and I was like, yo, yeah. so Southern Baptist boy, they yeah, they gonna get you. But yeah, man. So you know, again, this has been episode 196. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us, um, and we will definitely be back next week. Um, don't forget to check out the uh, Lost in Thought and Which the good Breakdown. Yep, yep. We appreciate y'all checking out those, and we appreciate all our new subscribers. Yeah, uh, who been? Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, new subscribers. Let me shout y'all out. Thank y'all. We appreciate the love. Yeah, Holy yeah, but surely. Yes, sir. Holy right, but man, for episode 196, this is your man Kurt, and this is Howie. And we will see y'all next time. And the Lord said, <laughs> and he always said. <laughs> okay, all right, peace. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> peace.